G'day people, I'm down at North Fremantle and I'm going to be having a look at this new detour across Tai, well the other side of Tyburn Road where there should be maps and signage for it. Now, I would even have some warning signage as far back as here um, outside the train station because one alternate route people have got, if they're brave, is to actually jump off the shared path here and get out on the road and go around Fremantle that way. And, uh, which of course is what a lot of fit adult concrete cycles do. But given things are blocked off down here at Tideman, well, sorry, what I mean by that is the shared path that goes around the back of the Swan Hotel has been closed off for the Fremantle Bridge uh, reconstruction works. So that's one thought about advance notice. Let's go a bit further. Now the next place where I'd be putting warning signage would be along here because when we get up to this next intersection another alternative route that I could take is I could turn left as I go down the dip here go up to whatever that street is there turn right get on the footpath and ride past uh, cafes like Bruce Town. so that's Jackson Street I could do that now that would take me up to the traffic lights on the corner of Tyburn Road on the footpath and that's uh, not too bad an alternative, although you're riding, well on weekends you're riding past and lots of people leading on footpaths very crowded, so maybe not the best option. Anyway, ahead of us on the other side of the road you can see some red and yellow footings. You can't actually see there's a fence there, unless you've got pretty damn good eyesight. I can see the silvery bits at the top bar gleaming in the sun now but I can't actually see the fence itself. I would wrap that in Hessian to make it more visible. Now, the I came through here the other day and I didn't actually see that because when you're crossing here, this part, you're looking to your right, uh, vehicles coming that way. And this way, you're looking for truck traffic and also cars speeding around that slip lane. And I've been doing this for years, going across like this, and I got here the other day and suddenly, oh, it's closed. Now these maps aren't too bad, one's talking about service relocations and stuff like that. This one, the detour map. So to start with, they've got it upside down. Uh, it's not orange to the ground, which doesn't help things. And the, the bits of fencing kind of obscure some of the uh, stuff. So path closure in red, okay, it's all right. Pedestrian cyclist detour. Well, essentially I'll just go down the footpath here. And that's that. We've even got a nice little uh, Q code there to scan. Uh, now the reason I said, you know, it'd be a sensible idea to go down here uh, on the footpath is cars just belt around here and these drivers, their heads are all looking to the right in a lot of cases because they want to know whether they're going to be merging into B doubles and stuff approaching from the east. They are not looking for people um, crossing the road there and they're going way too fast and for some reason they don't want to put any speed restrictions on this uh, uh, entry into it here. Okay, now, this, this is interesting, they've got these concrete blocks along here um, and I'm wondering whether they're going to, well, I'm wondering if they've closed a lane along here and they're going to put pedestrians and cyclists into that. Now along here it's all concrete blocks. When we get up to the bridge it's just cones. And I've got a little crossing here. Again I'm just going to stop and uh, 
take a good video here. So. <laughs> Interesting enough, they've put the sign saying there's a detour on the other side of the fence, so you can't see it. Well, I guess you can see it if you're coming across the road, but if you're going this way, it's impossible to see. Uh, it looks like that looks like new tarmac along there, this little strip. It's a much darker black than uh, the rest of it, so it looks nice and smooth. Although, of course, as you can see, there's no one in it at the moment. Now, it's probably going to get very noisy on the bridge. Let's see if my audio still works. Uh, yeah, it's just cones they haven't resurfaced it. There's a sign up here in the middle. You can't see it because of, I guess, all the stuff here, but what is that? So, oh, so it looks like the closing of the lane starts here, maybe. Um, there's a cone there. There's a cone there. Yeah, so the lane kind of peels off. So drivers like this one coming around the slip lane have to merge across to their right as they get onto the bridge proper. The one thing I should have mentioned is it's now 40 km hour speeding on the bridge here. You can see that driver in the white car is just merged across. Right, the cones are starting here. So I guess that's not going to be a whole lot of use for pedestrians and cyclists if it starts halfway across the bridge. It's actually kind of tricky to film, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like one lane all the way across from here, but trust me, it's not. It's two lanes of color. So I don't think you're going to be cycling over here anymore. Now, as I ride down here towards North Fremantle from, from the bridge, I can see there's some fencing and some yellow and red stuff. There's absolutely no warning along here to say that the path going off to the left is, uh, is no more. There's an X path, there's a blocked path, and I need to go straight ahead. And it's not until I get to out here that I suddenly realise the route I've been taking for years is no more. So I'd be putting warning signage well back, probably just as you come off the bridge. And I'd be looking to put a map somewhere. I mean, they got the map that way. The map should be this way, should be facing you. So um, you can actually go, oh, look, there's a map. The only reason I discovered there was a map back there at that particular uh, fence was I stopped to have a look. If I hadn't, I never would have noticed the map. Now, this is the speeding, speedy uh, slip lane around here. Um, the only directional signage is this pedestrians this way. There's nothing for cyclists anywhere. Um, I've not seen a single cycling specific sign. Oh, he's, on a, he's on a tricycle, he's going that away. Let's just have a look. Oh, it's pretty rough on the path. It's not the best. wondering why did I just follow that bloke? Well he looks like he's about 75 and he's on a tricycle and I know sometimes there's people uh, that age getting around on those tricycles who've got balance issues and strength issues. They can, it's essentially a mobility scooter slash tricycle. Uh, probably a bit more range and speed than a mobility scooter. Same issue here getting across with uh, fast moving traffic coming towards me. And I just wait for this Falcon and hope no one comes flying around the corner as they have a tendency to do. But just zero signage anywhere. Um, 
Okay, let's wait for this uh, Mitsubishi. And off we go. So again, back there at that set of lights at uh, Tideman, an option I would have had is I could have gone straight ahead up past the cafes here and then come up uh, Jackson, which yeah, that would have been okay as well. So, what do we learn from that? Um, there's maps, but they're poorly placed. Um, certainly the map on this side is not oriented to the ground. Um, when they did it, they, sh they should have done, when they drew it up, they should have done that. Um, maps need to face you. Maps that are set up that way are a waste of time. Do it that way. I'd wrap the fences in Hessian so that it's really obvious from a distance that the path is closed. And then I've put the big yellow sign saying the path is closed, obviously on the outside of the Hessian, so they can be seen. I'd be putting up uh, warning signage back here, and I might even be putting maps up saying, you've got some alternatives, the yeah, alternative routes you can take for a detour, depending on you know how you feel, what sort of cyclist you are, how confident you are, those kinds of things. But just more cyclist specific signage. You know, big signs, cyclist symbol or cyclist logo, and a detour. Alright, that'll do.